Hi everyone, today I'd like to talk about a Listen Bluetooth speaker, LED lamp, and alarm clock. I was actually sent a free sample product for leaving my honest opinion and review. It's actually a very nice Bluetooth speaker. So you can actually see this is this is what comes in the box. It's the speaker itself, a aux cable, a charging cable, and the instructions. I found the instructions to be very, very useful and very, very helpful since it does offer a alarm setting, a standard clock, and the other features, like I said, such as the Bluetooth feature, it's the instructions come in handy. So this is actually the top, the speaker is actually located at the top of the light. So as you can see, the gray mesh is the actual speaker itself. At the far left, it's a pause and play button, a mode button, which we'll get to later on, a forward and backward button, and the volume up and down. This is actually the back of the speaker, so it comes with an on and off switch, a port for the charging cable, a port for the aux cable, a Bluetooth uh, little notification light, a micro SD card and slot, and a USB host slot. Um, you can actually connect this to any um, audio device from your phone to, I guess, an iPad to anything that has an aux port or you can also use it with a USB port, a USB enabled device or the SD card, of course. So this is actually the charging cable and it's just a regular standard charging cable. You can use it, uh, you can charge it using a uh, USB uh, enabled plug or using it, connecting it to an actual USB device such as like your laptop or anything of that nature. So that was just a picture to show you what it looks like when it's connected in the actual um, port itself. And then the aux cable uh, is pretty neat. I actually connected it to my um, Samsung Galaxy S5 cell phone and it fit in the port. And um, when you actually plug it into the back of the, the speaker as you see here, it'll actually read on the display in the front as line. So we'll see that in a second. So when you actually plug it in, as you can see, it actually says line, so it actually shows you that it's connected. So when you connect it to any other aux device or your phone or whatever, it will show up and it'll start, I guess, actually playing. So this is actually what it looks like when it charges. It has a little red light. Charging time will vary depending on how you charge it. I really didn't pay attention. I just kind of plugged it in and went about my daily routine. So as you can see, it turns green when it's done. Um, according to the directions, I think it said charging time could take 8 to 10 hours, but again, that will vary depending on how long you use it. This was actually just showing you the light display. So you tap the top and it goes from dim to medium to brighter to brightest and then off. And this was just showing you the alarm function. And again, this just kind of showed you a little more about the mode itself. So the mode button, what it does is it actually, Bluetooth mode. Please it wait. actually goes through all the, the settings. So you go through the time, if you have the alarm on, the Bluetooth, the sleep mode, which is either on or off. And then it'll tell you something that says, uh, let's say, it'll say no D S C H. So that actually tells you that there's no um, micro SD card or the USB port isn't connected. So there you see it. It's just more walking through the mode Bluetooth button. Bluetooth mode. Please wait. I liked how it lets you know that the Bluetooth mode was connected and you can see it on the readout, which is helpful. And it doesn't take very long to connect either. So that was really, really helpful. And the one thing that I also liked was that it was really easy to connect to my computer, which you'll see right now. So when you actually connect it, it'll show up as DV, or at least it did for my computer. I think it says DV28. And then this was just me playing around with different stuff that I had on the computer. So you can actually stream. I used it streaming a free music service, and I also used it streaming my own music. And I found the sound quality to be really, really clear and concise. It wasn't distorted. It was, to me, pure digital sound, which was great. And the volume up and down is really helpful and really easy to use. Um, all in all, it's a great little speaker. So if you know anyone who's a music lover, please check them out. And thank you so much for watching.
always win the fight. Bang, bang, he shot me down. Bang, bang, 